What about people who hold a public office and are paid for by the taxpayer? I've obviously thought long and hard about whether the news of the world were justified in, in um, invading my privacy, and I think at the end of the day they probably were. I think that uh, although I hadn't been investigated by the police or broken laws, I hadn't been involved in, in, in lying, I think there was a judgment issue. Uh, and so I think they're probably justified because, you know, clearly I had made errors of judgment. Certainly I'd let my family down. So I think just about you could put a, a public interest argument up for saying it was right to, to do what they did. Mark Oturn, a married MP, had once hoped to be leader of the Lib Dems. But it was days after he withdrew from the race that the press ran a story about his affair with a male prostitute. I thought about my own position and what happened to me and whether or not, you know, I'd then be one of those that argue we should have a less free press. And I conclude that actually, however awful it may be, it's better to have a press which can expose MPs' private lives because it means we have a free press. And if we have a free press, we get lots of gains in this country. It means we can expose corruption. It means we can have a questioning, inquisitive press. Hey.